Christ, it's cold. Anyone would think it was January. Whew. Anyway, welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Let's talk about Arta Baturbia versus Callum Smith. This is a fight that's coming up on Saturday the 13th. Um, I think this fight can be summed up with one word, or how to predict it. The main factor, if you like, and that word is weight, not W-A-I-T, W-E-I-G-H-T, the thing that you weigh. You know, I think this is it's a great matchup, um, but the weight of both these fighters is going to be a factor, I think. Um, okay, I don't need to go through Baturbiev's, um you know, resume, he's 19 wins, no defeats, no draws. He's got 19 KOs. And he was last seen walloping Anthony Yard, who gave a good account of himself, but ultimately lost. It was one of those sort of game defeats, you know, those gallant defeats that us British come out with occasionally <laughs> and are much lauded for. Um, he stopped Yard in eight rounds. Okay. And that was back in, um, I, think it was a, I think it was January last year. So it's been a year. He's been out of the ring for a year. Um, and prior to that, he had Joe Smith Jr. knocked out in two and Marcus Brown. And, you know, he's looked the part, Baturbiev. He's he's a big, powerful, extremely resilient pressure fighter. Um, he's orthodox. He's about six foot, five, 11, maybe, maybe six foot, which, you know, that's not short for a light heavy, but it's not massively tall either. Um, and the thing is, he's... He's 38, pushing 39. I'm not sure exactly when his birthday is, but I, don't think, I think it's towards the start of this year anyway, not not towards the back end. He seems to have been 38 for about 18 months, but <laughs> but he is knocking on a bit. And, okay, well, let's get back to the word weight again. Now, Paturbiev, at this age, the older you get, the more difficult it is to take off weight. Um. And let's bear in mind that as an amateur, he fought at, you know, heavyweight, which is actually the, the equivalent of roughly the equivalent of cruiserweight, I think. I don't I don't follow amateur boxing religiously, never have. It's purely the pro game for me, always has been. But, you know, I, I watch it with sort of one eye. And Petroviev definitely fought at much higher weights and has been consistently boiling himself down to 175 throughout his career. And because he's, I would imagine it's because he's an extreme disciplinarian, um, He's been able to do it now and, and, you know, retain all his attributes. Now, bear in mind that he's also been a pro, despite the fact he's had nine, only 19 fights. He's been a pro for nearly 10 years now, nine and a half years, something like that. Um, so he, he doesn't fight that regularly. Uh, but the quality of his opposition is absolutely excellent. You know, you can go back to his, I think it was his fifth fight when he fought Tavoris Cloud, who was former IBF champ. Um and got rid of him in only two rounds, which is an amazing achievement for someone with only five fights. He's looked like a destroyer, but of course you wonder, A, is he going to get old overnight? Because the yard fight was quite grueling. Um, and B, is he going to be able to make 175 and again, retain his strength and all the things that make him a such a fantastic, intimidating pressure fighter? Now, Callum Smith, again, the word weight sticks in my mind because... Even though he moved up two fights ago to light heavyweight from a career as a as a champ, he was a champ, you know, at uh, 168. At 168, he was absolutely enormous. I mean, you're talking about a guy who's six foot three inches tall with a 78 inch reach advantage, which is about four or five inches more than Baturbiev. Massive guy. I mean, but. <laughs> And, you know, of the 29 wins, he's got 21 KOs, so he's got a bit of pop to his punches. He's got one defeat on points, and that was to Canelo, and that was in his final fight at 168 um, when he lost his, I think he had the WBO and the WBC title. I think one of them was one of those diamond belts. He also won the, the, the um, World Boxing Super Series thing by uh, taking his... Uh, taking, um, uh, the WBA title off George Groves, knocked him out in seven rounds. Groves was shot worn by that point. He had a very, very bad shoulder, <clears throat> which he picked up in uh, against Chris Eubank. He had a busted shoulder, which didn't really, didn't really have enough time to repair. And that was Groves' final fight. He was way past his best. But there's no doubt that since moving up to 175, 
Callum Smith has looked the part. He's only had two fights. Gilberto Rivera, who he knocked out in two rounds, very picturesque knockout. And equally highlight reel was the knockout against um, Matteo um, Bordelic. Um, I mean, both of those look impressive, very, very impressive against guys who you would call, I mean, they had decent statistical records, but you'd call them both. I don't know, B fighters, B minus fighters. But Serbiev is a different, different different category altogether, of course. But even though he's moved up to 175 only two fights ago, I still wonder whether Smith struggles to make 175 because he's so big and he's not just tall and rangy, he's kind of thick with it. Now, there's no doubt that those two fights at light heavy, he's, he's looked rejuvenated. But the one against Border League, which was his last fight, was in August of 2022. So he's been out of the ring September, October, November. So, I mean, 16 months, 17 months, even longer than Baturbiev. So I really think that there is a question mark over him making the weight as well and the inactivity. It won't bother, I don't think the inactivity will bother Baturbiev that much. In fact, at his age, it might help him, provided he's not let his weight get out of hand and he's kept himself. Um, you know, not too far off the, the 175 limit. But anyway, we know that um, both Baturbiev and Smith are orthodox fighters. Um, Baturbiev, like I say, obviously a pressure fighter, um, has skills. It's not that he just, you know, walks in the front door without doing anything. He's good jab. Um Picks very good individual individual punches. His footwork isn't bad at all. Um, he's aggressive without being reckless. Um, he did go on the floor against um, was it Johnson, wasn't it? Callum Johnson, but got up to stop Johnson. I think in the next round uh, that was that was in the fourth round. Uh, but I mean Smith. Uh, there's one thing that sticks in my mind about Smith and even accepting for the fact that making 168 was so difficult. And that was that in 2020 against Canelo Alvarez, he didn't try to win. He almost cashed in that title with a performance, which was very, very disappointing. Very, I was really disappointed because early on in his career, I was thinking, uh, Callum Smith, you know, is, is going to be a threat. Um, and even though it got to the point where he was probably, if not weight drained, then near as damn it, weight drained. I, I just didn't like the performance against Canelo at all. To me, that was absolute safety first, go the distance. Um, it just didn't look to me like he like he wanted to win. And I think a couple of judges gave him three rounds, two rounds, three rounds. I, I was struggling to give him more than one or two. Yeah. Now, if uh, the, is is this a case of when he steps up against the real elite fighters, he suddenly goes into his shell and wants to, you know, not use that big rangy reach of his, you know, not be a little bit cavalier and start firing his own punches, you know, with a little bit of abandon. Does he sort of shut up shop, pull down the shutters and say, okay, this guy is, he's a threat. I've got to be careful here. And sort of very conservatively navigate his way through the rounds without getting hurt. If he does that, Baturbiev wins. You know, probably on points, wide points. Um, he's got to, in my opinion, Smith has got to use the jab uh, from the, the absolute opening seconds, bang that jab in, try and control that long range. He's got a much longer reach. Um, he won't find Baturbiev too hard to find. He might find him hard to hit cleanly. But if the head's not available, I would be banging to the body. I would be testing those 30, 38, nearly 39-year-old legs, putting that money in the bank from the off, from the off, you know, looking to do that. Easier said than done, of course, but that would be a major tactic. I wouldn't get involved, you know, early for obvious reasons. Baturbiev's a killer. But at the same time, I wouldn't be moving. I wouldn't be running. I wouldn't be doing a Deontay Wilder and ice skating around the periphery of the ring. I would be... Boxing on the back foot, but boxing, box fighting. Now, like I say, easier said than done because Baturbiev, he might start slowly. He might have a look at you in the opening round or two, but he's going to be looking to uh, he's, going to, he's going to be looking to work the body as well, definitely. And he'll be once he's softened up the body, he'll be looking to switch it to the head. 
Smith's got to go with him on that. Smith's got to, you know, it's, it might be. Uh, if if I was in both guys' corners, I'd be saying body, 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 go to that body. And you might end up with a sort of, you know, body duel, if you like. <laughs> you know? um, yeah, but assuming that Smith does that, assuming he has the right mindset that he wants to win, that he's going to win, um. I don't know. I mean, I, I think I think he can certainly give Paterbiev problems, quite serious problems early on. Can he do it for 36 minutes? I mean, another fight at super middleweight for Smith that sticks in my mind, which doesn't doesn't bode well, is the one against John Ryder, which I thought Ryder clearly won. And Ryder is, again, a, a box fighter, pressure fighter, likes to put pressure on. And he, he to me, he dominated the much bigger, much bigger Smith and definitely should have won that fight. I mean, I, I had him, I think it was 116, 112, something like that, off, off, off memory. I, but I thought he clearly won, uh, as did a lot of people. Um, and again, you might you might blame it again on the on the weight for Smith, but come on, I mean, again, I don't think one, I think 175, he's obviously going to be much, you know, he's got another half stone, so he's going to be, yeah, he's going to have a lot more energy, but I just wonder whether... Fights like the Ryder and the Canelo fight, which were, by the way, were back to back, and his performance, his bad performance against Ryder, and then his non-performance against Canelo. I wonder if he's shaken off those memories because when Baturbiev starts to put it on him and he starts to feel the weight of Baturbiev's punches and the pressure, the the, the mental pressure, the um, you know, let's say after four or five rounds, Baturbiev starts to get his engine really running, and Smith's thinking, "I've got another seven rounds of this." You know, the 20, 21 minutes of trying to hold this guy off. I wonder if he'll go into his shell. Um, whenever I make a prediction, I always assume that both fighters are going to be have made the weight okay, which might be a mistake. I mean, unless it's really obvious someone's struggling at the weight, and then that might factor in. But I don't know whether either of these guys are struggling at the weight. I do think, it, like I say, it could be a major factor for one or both. Probably perturbative, I would say. But I think that. Even though Smith, I can see Smith giving Baturbiev problems early on. And you know what? Maybe even flooring him. Um, this is if Smith is going to really go for it and try and win and not not pull down the shutters again. I see him, I see a, I see Smith trying to work the jab, trying to find the body. Baturbiev's going to come in, um, again, using his own jab, heavy individual punches as he's as he finds the range, I think Paterbiev will start to let his hands go. Smith might go with him and probably on the back foot is advised to to fire his own punches, you know, like not, not to be conservative, but to really try and fight fire with fire to some extent. I don't mean stand in front of him. I mean, keep it on the back foot, but bang, bang, bang with it and then bring the right hand over and just, just say to Paterbiev, if you're coming for me, I've got something waiting for you. Um, but over 36 minutes of fighting... I think I've got to go with Baturbiev. Um, I think he'll chop down Smith, start to really hurt him. Probably around round seven, eight, I think Smith will start to become a little less ambitious. Um, I think gradually Baturbiev's pressure and the, you know, the sort of, the weight of his punches will gradually begin to erode Smith, that water on rock effect. And I can see Baturbiev winning this fight. If if Smith goes into survival mode, I think it goes a distance. But I'm going to gamble and say that I think Smith will, will, will try and win, in which case I see Baturbiev stopping him in about 10 or 11 rounds towards the back end of the fight. Uh, but it's a difficult one to predict again because you know you would think Baturbiev would be a red hot favourite because of his nineteen <laughs> nil with all these you know great performances. He's a killer. But if if Ryder and the Ryder, if Smith does make the the weight, can make the weight, does have ambition, I think he gives Baturbiev plenty of problems. But Baturbiev probably catches up with him. And again, if Smith is ambitious, uh, I don't, I think he might put Baturbiev on the floor. Um, of course, but we know Baturbiev can put Smith on the floor as well. I think he he may do that towards towards the end of the fight. It wouldn't surprise me if if Smith got got stopped on his feet as well. 
or Gallagher pulled him. No, it's not Gallagher anymore, is it? It's Buddy McGirt. If Buddy McGirt pulled him out. Um, but yeah, good fight. Good fight. It's coming up on Saturday, 13th. Have a look. Tell me what you think. Um, tell me how you think it's going to go. And tell me why you think whoever you're picking is going to win. And of course, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Please hit the like button as well. We, we love it when you're generous like that. Thank you very much. Spread the word about Joe's Thunder Boxing. Looking forward to reading your comments, and I'll catch you later. Bye for now.